So the problem that you were supposed to do yesterday was about estimating costs. This is what it says. Anna and her friend are walking home from school. Anne shows her friend this homework problem and her answer. So Anne already did it. And we have to decide if Anne did it right. So Anne is her name on the paper. The art club has $100 to spend on materials. They bought water paints for $38 and brushes for $19. How much money does the club have left over? So if they spent, they have $100 and they spent $38 and they spent $19, how many do they have left over? She said $67. Well, suppose that you are Anne's friend and you do not have a pencil or calculator with you. In your head, make an estimate. Remember, estimate is the, a, a closer number, easier, closer number. How much money the club has left over. Write your answer on the next page. So really, you're supposed to write your answer on the next page, but I'm going to keep on this page just so that we can go back to look at our numbers up here. So first of all, we are going to estimate. Estimate means a close number. So let's start. We, we start with the $100. That's how much they have. So I am going to type up here, $100 because I want to remember that that is how much we start with, $100. That's how much we start with. Then she, they buy some paints for $38. Now think about it. Is $38 closer to $30 or $40? Remember those number lines that we did? Um, in your head, because we're supposed to do this in our head, um, think, is 38 closer to 30 or 40 on that number line? And if you think about it, hmm, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and write, actually, instead of type on this, and I'm going to write 38, if I think about 38, and when I draw, it's not as pretty, but I'm going to try my best. If I estimate it, I think is 38 closer to 30 or 40? And I think, huh, it is closer to 40 on my number line. And then I think of the brushes. They are $19. I think, huh, is $19 closer to $10 or $20? So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go 19. Hmm, I think in my head, is 19 closer to 10 or 20? And I know on my number line, 19 would be right next to 20. So it is closer to 20. So now I know that the two things I bought, 40 and 20, let's see what they are together. So we're going to add those together. Zero plus zero is zero. Four plus two is six. So now I'm thinking, huh, she had $100. And she spent $60, or the art place spent $60. So I think, huh, 100 if we spend something, we take away. So first of all, we had to add what she, she bought. And then we're going to take it away from the amount she started with. So if we subtract that, Zero minus zero is zero, and 10 minus six is four. So in my mind, I can think without even using paper, I can estimate and I can think it's about $40. So she's left with about $40. Now look at what Anne said. 
was left over. Sixty-seven dollars. Is sixty-seven dollars close to forty dollars? That's kind of far away. I mean, sixty-seven and forty. That's that's not very close together. So I don't think her answer is reasonable. So I am going to go up here to the next screen where actually this is where we should have done our work. So hopefully you did your work in the bubble when you did it. And write your estimate of how much the club has left over. Our estimate was 40. When we estimated, it was $40. And use your estimate to decide whether Anne's answer is reasonable. Is her answer reasonable? And we said it is not close. So it is not reasonable. So we are going to write no, it is not reasonable because the estimate is very far away from her answer. So it is not reasonable. So these are what you should have put. So right here in the bubble, you should have put all that um, work that we did to figure it out. All this work down here that we did to figure it out should be in the bubble. Now, you might have figured it out a different way, but if you still got about the estimate about the same and realize that her answer is very different, very far away, then it's okay. Um, if you worked it out in a different way than I did, but got our, the same answer. So hopefully this helps you as you revise your work. If you did not do it right or um, did not get this right answer, would you please go and fix it? If you have a paper copy, just go over it in a red pen or a marker. Do not erase. And if you um, did it not the right way on your first screen on day one, you can go ahead and work it out right on day two on this screen the right way.